Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 using the semi-untethered jailbreak created by Pangu. The only difference is in today's video, we do not need a computer. So yes, the on-device Safari based jailbreaks are back. I'm going to walk you through absolutely everything you need to know. And I'm also going to inform you of how it works so you can make the informed decision of whether you want to proceed with this jailbreak or not. Now be sure to drop this video a like if you appreciate all of the work that's gone into creating it. From researching all of the details details you guys need to know to make an informed decision to actually testing and compiling everything on Jailbreak Me 9 with Black Geek Tutorials. All right, so first of all, we need to get into support. This jailbreak will function on iOS 9.2 up to the latest public firmware as of recording this video being iOS 9.3.3. It will not work on firmwares past 9.3.3 if you're watching this at a future date. And of course, it does function on the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, the iPhone SE and iPod Touch 6 generation, iPad Mini 2, Mini 3, Mini 4, iPad Air, iPad Air 2, and the iPad Pro. 9.7 and 12.9 inch models. Now, unfortunately, it does not support 32 bit devices. So, if you do have an older iDevice, it just will not work on your device. That's because the exploits solely function on the 64 bit architecture found in Apple's latest devices. So we're about to get into this. First of all though, what's going to happen is you're going to install an application via Safari on jailbreakme9.com. Now this application is distributed via a developer enterprise certificate that has been revoked, which means during the installation process, you need to enter airplane mode. I'm going to walk you through that in a second. First though, we need to know what happens after we actually install this app and our device is jailbroken. Now, because this is the Chinese version, as I highlighted in my last video, which I definitely recommend watching, I will have it linked down below in the description because that goes into more detail than what I'm about to tell you right now. The application will actually continually check 25 PP servers for an updated certificate. Now, if it detects an updated developer enterprise certificate, what it'll do is it'll download that and it will replace the app binary and the PP combination Pangu jailbreak app with a new signature from the updated certificate. So what that means is that your device will constantly be connecting to 25 PP's remote servers. Some of them are in China, others are in different countries. So just note that your device will be constantly connecting to it in the background, looking for new certificates. And if PP runs out of developer enterprise certificates, because believe it or not, Apple is constantly revoking them, then this application will likely cease to work. There's no such thing as a guaranteed one your certificate. That's why it constantly connects to their server and tries to download an updated or a fresh certificate. Now, if in the future, the application stops working for you randomly after a reboot, what you're going to have to do is connect to your computer and install the Pangu jailbreak app and just delete the PP one. And down below in the description, I will have a tutorial for doing that as well. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of the jailbreak, but this app may very well be good for months to come. All right. So with all of that understood and out of the way, we're going to switch on over to the 6th gen iPod Touch, which is what we're going to be jailbreaking in today's video. I'm going to readjust the view and everything. I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. Everything's been adjusted. And as you can see, this 6th gen iPod Touch is in fact running iOS 9.3.3, again, the latest public firmware. Now, as I said before, you need to launch up Safari and navigate to jailbreakme9.com. And you're going to tap on download now, and you may have to do this a few times. Reason being, I recommend doing it just the first time to see where it's going to place the application. Now, for me, I know it's going to place it on the second page of my springboard in that blank spot right there, because you need to know when it's actually moving from loading to installing the app. When it does that, you have to enter airplane mode before it finishes fully installing. If you don't, it won't work and you'll just have to delete it and try again. But the reason I recommend locating where it's going to be placed again is so that we can detect that and so that we can quickly enter airplane mode inside of control center. Now see, it's going to go in that spot right there on my springboard, the top row. So I'll still be able to see it on this six gen iPod touch with its smaller screen. So I'm going to switch on over here to Safari again. And remember, we're going to tap on download now, and then you should receive a little prompt that asks you to install or cancel. Again, we're tapping on install 
and on the second page of my springboard here it's saying loading now i'm going to bring up control center as soon as it switches to installing i toggled on airplane mode there and boom we have the pp pangu application installed now it's going to install very fast because the servers that it's hosted on are incredibly quick so you're going to have to be equally as quick actually toggling on airplane mode just so long as you get it before it finishes installing it should be good to go and you should be able to launch it up now we have to turn off airplane mode so that we can authenticate the certificate so let's go ahead and swipe back over go inside of the settings application followed by general and then scroll down to the very bottom to where you see device management and you should see an enterprise app listed here that's the pp pangu app we're going to tap into it followed by trust and then tap on trust again and then you can press your home button and you should be able to launch the pp pangu app right now remember we do have to enter airplane mode because the initial certificate that it's using has been expired and then from there it will continually check in the background in its jailbroken state for updated versions of the certificate Certificate. So let's go ahead and tap on into it now and it's going to ask us if we want to OK notifications We need this you have to tap on OK right here Otherwise, it will not function properly now before we do anything at the bottom here You will see a little checkbox that says PP you need to uncheck this essentially what that's going to do is install PP's application after you actually go through the jailbreak process and we don't want that we just want to install Cydia We just want to jailbreak our devices and that's it we don't want anything else we don't need the bloatware so once you've unchecked that just be sure that you've left the pp app open for approximately 20 seconds or so you don't really want to wait much longer than 20 seconds or earlier than 20 seconds after that time's up you need to tap inside of the circle then wait five seconds and after five seconds is up lock your device using the power and lock button now if you see a storage almost full notification don't worry that's completely fine it's because this app writes to the system logs so long as you receive a notification from pp in chinese that says cydia you'll be good to go don't worry if your device is unresponsive on the lock screen and also just try to leave it on the lock screen. Just so long as you do not close out of the PP application though, you should be fine and your device should respring momentarily. So just go ahead and wait for that. It may take up to two minutes. As you can see, here we go. We have the Apple logo. It's just respringing and it should be back at the lock screen. All right, so let's go ahead and slide to unlock now. And then we're going to close out of that battery notice there. Swipe over. As you can see, guys, we now have Cydia. We're jailbroken. How easy is that? No computer needed whatsoever. And this application will download updated certificates, so you will be able to use it moving forward into the future. However, if you don't like the fact that your device connects to remote servers in China and other countries as well, then I don't recommend this method for you. I recommend using the computer method using the English version of Pangu because that one definitely does not you're signing it with your own apple id at that point point. and speaking of below i'm going to swipe down here and show you guys at the bottom cydia does confirm we are in fact on ios 9.3.3 so again down below at the bottom it says ipod 7 comma 1 ios 9.3.3 cydia 1.1.27 so of course we do know we have the latest version of cydia here and i'm going to go over to the installed section you can see we do have packages listed there as well as in the changes tab and finally, we're just going to install OpenSSH for the final proof that, in fact, we are jailbroken successfully on 9.3.3. And, of course, we can use Cydia. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, that's how you install packages. Just tap on Install, Confirm in the top right-hand corner. And then at the end of that, it will either ask you to return to Cydia, respring, or reboot your device, depending on what the package needs. This one just says Return to Cydia. So we're done. We have it installed. It says Modify Now instead of Install. That's how we know it is in fact on our device. And before you go haphazardly installing things from Cydia, there will also be another link down below in the description that contains 300 plus tweaks that do function on the iOS 9.3.x jailbreak. Make sure that you verify your tweaks are compatible with this jailbreak first before you install them. If you install tweaks that aren't compatible, it may very well jeopardize your jailbreak. Keep that in mind. All right, now the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to reboot, because after your device does reboot, you will not be able to launch Cydia or anything that you've obtained via Cydia. It will just appear as though it's crashing. We have to use this PP app again. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot this 6th gen iPod here, and I'll be right back as soon as it powers up. All right, here we go. We are on the lock screen now, so let's go ahead and slide over to unlock, go to the second page, and now, of course, Cydia does crash. Remember, that's because we 
have to reapply a portion of the jailbreak using the PP Pangu app. It has to repatch the kernel so that way we can essentially use our jailbreak and things that we've obtained through our jailbreak. So let's go ahead and open up the PP Pangu app and leave it open for 20 seconds before you do anything. If you do not leave it open for that amount of time, just like when we initially jailbroke, it may not function properly and your device may just reboot instead of actually reapplying it and respringing. If that happens, you just have to try again. Remember, we just need to leave it open for 20 seconds. After that 20 seconds is up, which it is currently for us right now, we can go ahead and tap inside of that circle and then again, wait about five seconds. Once that time's up, lock the device using the power button and then you should receive a notification on your lock screen. We're good to go. It's just fully in Chinese, so you won't really be able to recognize it. But if you get that notification, you will be golden. It may respring twice. That's also fine. Once it does and once you're at the lock screen, you can just swipe over to unlock and then and launch up Cydia and Cydia should function again and everything that you've obtained through Cydia will also work again. It's really just as easy as that guys. The only major caveat here is that you are connecting to remote servers constantly to try and download a new developer enterprise certificate for the PP Pangu app which of course you do need following every reboot. You have to keep that app guys if you want to use your jailbreak moving forward. And once PP does run out of certificates the app will eventually stop working for you. At that point you will need to utilize a computer but other than that we can still jailbreak on our devices how awesome is that guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the tutorial as well as all of the info that goes along with it of course you guys know that I provide the most in-depth tutorials here and before I conclude one last thing potential updates to this jailbreak will be deliverable via new versions of that PP combination Pangu app and of course on jailbreakme9.com there is a jailbreak notifications option all you guys have to do is tap or click that on computer and then you will be brought down to the email notifications section and when you subscribe to email notifications you will be informed when a new jailbreak is available and you'll only be updated either when a brand new jailbreak itself for future firmwares has been released or when this jailbreak has been updated again guys it's a very powerful tool to know exactly what's happening in the realm of jailbreaking just sign up and get notified when things are released all right, and speaking of being notified, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. That way you guys will stay in the full loop of any and everything related to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.